So let's go ahead and get this ready to go into our mixture. Nice little labeling that they put on it. Set that there. All right, so the main thing is, um, what we need to realize when we start doing this is we have to do a little bit of math. And of course, that's what this video is designed to help you guys with. First, let's discuss, of course, what's involved. We're making um, a vessel for the RU5841 to permeate the skin. To do that, um, we are using propylene glycol and um, alcohol. And in this case, Everclear, which you just get at your local liquor, liquor store. Uh, of course, there's some people with issues about obtaining this, but uh, nevertheless, I'm showing you how I use mine. So with those two things um, and your RU5841, you're set up, you're ready to do it. So let's go ahead and look at um, your dosage um, and how much of solution you will need to make. So for me, uh, I use 100 milligrams per night. Uh, then again, this, this is the dosing part that is dependent on, on the individual and 100 milligrams might be high for some. Um, I think the recommended is to start out around 25, 50. So I'm, uh, on the higher end of that, I was at 150 milligrams with no side effects, but I decided for cost effectiveness to go to 100 milligrams a night. And then you have to analyze, depending on how large of an application area, how much of solution you're going to need. So I'm going through about a Norwood 6 pattern of diffuse thinning. So I use around 4 milliliters. So we're going to go ahead and write that down. So Every time I apply 4 milliliters, I want the total amount of RU on my scalp to be 100 milligrams. So that, of course, boils down to um, 25 milligrams per milliliter. All right, now we need to look at um, the solution. How do we make the solution? Well, we know we're going to go with a 70-30 ratio of 70% alcohol to 30% propylene glycol. So, um, before we do that uh, analysis, we also need to determine um, how frequently you would like to make your solutions um, of RU. There are people that make their solutions every morning, there are people that do it bi-weekly, um, and the whole ordeal with that is there is concern over the stability of RU in a solution over time. So they like to keep it fresh, um, and I am doing it per week, that's how I do it. So every week I'll make up a new, a new batch of RU. So we know we're going to need four milliliters for seven days. So four times seven. All right. And then I always I like to have a little bit extra solution, an extra two milliliters, um, just because I find that um, you know just through application you lose some, and you're on that last day you want the uh, full dose. It's nice to have a little leeway. So I add two to that. So that is a total of thirty milliliters of solution that we will make. All right, now let's divvy up the portions that are alcohol and the portion that's propylene glycol. So we're gonna take the 30 times 0 0.7 and that will give us 21 milliliters alcohol. And we'll go 30 times 0 0.3 equals nine milliliters propylene glycol. Alright, so now we know how the solution is divvied up. Um, now the next step is to figure out how much of the RU5841 we actually have to weigh out um, to go into the solution. So like I said, I want 100 milligrams every time I apply 4 milliliters. So basically at this point, all you do is multiply 25 milligrams per milliliter times your total dose here, and 25 times 30 will give us the 750 milligrams of RU. So now we will weigh out the 750 milligrams of RU. Alright, my scale that I use is um, a Mini Pro. You do need a fairly accurate scale to do this, of course, down to the thousands. And at this point, be really careful to um, of course, not spill RU all over the table, which happens quite often, and I hope it's not going to be the case tonight. But our target is to see 0 0.750, and you will need some type of device to, you know, weigh it out. 
He's got a little tablespoon. So I'm at 720 there. Not much left to go. So I'm a very small amount. Of course, I can always go on the high side, so I'll go ahead and go with the. Oh, no, that went to eight. Hold on. Alright, so now we weighed out 767 milligrams of RU. That's close enough for my target. I'm going to go ahead and seal up your RU. Whenever you seal back the bag before you put it in the fridge, you want to make sure all the air is out. That's really important. Alright, now that that's done, the next step is to go ahead and put that RU into a um, a anything that you can use to mix it with the alcohol. So then again, you want to be sure to get it all in. Now comes the dissolving portion. So we've got the RU uh, ready to be dissolved. Now we need to go ahead and portion out our alcohol. So we know we want 21 milliliters. I've got my graduated cylinder here. Just simply measured out. I'm going to do it in 10 milliliter increments. Let's see here. Probably going to spill all over the place, but um, usually this is done over the sink. So I'm applying the first 10 milliliters. I like to run it down the side so I can get all the RU powder that was um, stuck to that side of the glass. And, and a lot of times when you have a really good sample of RU, I'll go ahead and you'll see a large portion of it dissolve right when you pour it in. It's always a nice feeling. Here's our 20. I'll go ahead and get that little extra one off the screen. Alright, there's 21. Alright, now do not add the propylene glycol. Now simply let the RU dissolve in the alcohol. And to facilitate that, of course, I stir it around like this. I never um, add the propylene glycol until I'm you know, satisfied that the RU is, has dissolved nicely. And you don't want any particulates floating around. Usually if you see a clump floating in the RU, I'll kind of uh, swirl them around, isolate it in the center, and then crush it um, with whatever device I'm stirring it with. That usually tends to work out. So this RU has already dissolved very nicely. Just a few particulates. Wow, it's doing it. So I'm bringing this up to the camera so you can kind of see what this would look like. See 
how well you can see it. Let's see if we can focus. I'm not certain if it will. Sweet. So you can see, really nice. Uh, this is a really nice batch of RU. All right, now is the part where we can get to adding the propylene glycol. I like to go ahead at this point and put in um, my mixture into the vessel I'll be storing it in, which this was an old Rogaine bottle which I've repurposed to hold my RU. So go ahead and pour it in there. Do it kind of quickly so you don't get it anywhere else. Alcohol and RU is already in there. Now we need to uh, measure out our 9 milliliters of propylene glycol. I'll do that now. If I can do this without making a mess, I'm going to, just to avoid accidents, put the cap back on the RU. If I hit it, it's no big deal. Mess collector. I gotta go ahead and measure out our 9 milliliters. And I like to overshoot it a little bit because um, there, you know, it does have a high viscosity and um, inevitably a lot of the propylene glycol will be left in the graduated cylinder. Um, so I, I overshoot mine a little bit. I'll do like nine and a half. If you're gonna, as you'll see, I like to um, put it through a, a series of containers before going to the RU. Now this batch was so clean, I don't think we need to do it, but sometimes um, after you've mixed the alcohol and the RU5841, there'll be some, uh, sometimes little clumps or a trail of clumps, <clears throat> and at that point just to ga gather those and make sure they get into the final solution, I'll pour the propylene glycol through here and then into there, but we're going to skip that step because this is a really nice batch. So now at this point, really straightforward. Take the nine and pour it in. All right. And when I've got it in this container, I can ensure that I can shake it very well, which is nice. Then now that I've got those together, I shake up my solution. And that's it. Um, it's ready to go. And as I showed you in another vehicle, or in another video, um, I apply it, um, of course, with a syringe. Not injecting it in any way, but just it's a useful tool for um, putting the drug exactly where I like it. So, I hope this has been a helpful tutorial um, to show you guys how I make up my RU58841. Thanks.